The word of God talk about help. What Jesus came into the world to do is to help us to be free from the powers of darkness. My brothers and sisters and everyone on earth, to help is good. When your brothers are in need, you need to help them. You can help people who need your help. You can help people who need your help with the divine knowledge of God in your life. With the divine wisdom of Jesus in your life. With divine position of the most high God in your life. With the divine prosperities of Jesus. Divine salvation of Jesus. With the salvation of Jesus in your life. With the repentance of Jesus in your life. You can help people who need your help. With the divine knowledge of God in your life. And that how God guides you to help them. How God guides you to do something for them. To lift them up. To become an instrument in their life. Without waiting for them to ask you for help. Without waiting for them to remind you what you're supposed to do. You see your brother passing through repression and persecution. You see your sister undergoing many sorrows and tears. Instead of you to help. Instead of you to be a solution to his own problem, her own problem. You overlook it. But the word of God lets me know. Without waiting for them to ask for help. Without waiting for them to ask you. You have already known the truth. You have already know that they need that help. Why can't you do it and the Lord will bless you? Why can't you? Do not talk about what can I profit. It is the Lord that reward, not man. All glory belongs to the Lord. It is the Lord that will reward you. Because that person, whenever you help, don't expect any reward from that man or woman you have. But expecting reward from God because only God can reward you. Only God can satisfy your heart, satisfy your desire, not a woman be. But when you help and expecting reward from that man, it will be canker worms and caterpillar and a curse in your life. The word of God said you have that the Lord will reward you. The word of God said you have that Jesus Christ of Nazareth will set you free. Jesus came into the world to help us. He did not expect any reward from us, but he expect reward from the both side. His father. He expected his father to reward him. That is why at the end, his father gave him power and authority over death and the life. He overcome the kingdom of darkness. But some of us, when we are helping our brothers and sisters, our friends, we begin to expect something from them. We begin to demand something from them. That is a demonic help. That is a satanic help. That is a witchcraft help. That is a Mary hair. That is a central potato hair. That is a Obanche hair. That is a man made hair. That is not a good hair from God. The word of God says God must surely use a man as an instrument to complete his work in the life of his children, to promote his children, to give his children job. To make a way for his children. God must surely use a man. Use somebody as an instrument. To give his children admission. Or to do something new. Something marvelous in their life. Maybe you will be. The chosen one. Because how. When the brothers and sisters. Tell you the story. What is happening. In his life or her life. It means God wants you to help him. God wants you to help him. But the generation we have, we are not doing that. But help according to the Spirit of God, because some people are great liars, some people are liars, some people are fabricating stories, telling lies, just to get money, get help from somewhere. But it's not true. When you have someone, a help that will lead him to sin against God, a help that will make devil to possess him, for example, when you did not play and see the face of God before you heard, when you did not ask God to direct you, when you did not inquire well and heard, a useless help bring cause in life. A useless help bring cause in your life. 
When you have somebody, when somebody fabricates told him and tell you, I need money, and after giving him or her the money, he will use it to go and spend in restaurant. Spend upon woman, swash it on a woman. Use it to fornicate. Use it to go to hotel and fornicate woman. Or use it to buy something that is not glorified in the name of Jesus. Or misuse the money. Or use it to do whatever you like. He did not do the told you or she told you that he's going to use the money for. That help is not from God. Help those who need your help. And try to search for them. Because many people that are asking for help, many of them, 30% or 20% are liars. They are dupers, 419. They are full of lies. That is why you help according to the will of God. That is why you are not going to direct you. That is why you must search for those who need help and help them. Not everyone. Those who need help must surely help. May the favor of God rest upon you. When you do that, Jesus wants you to do. When you help those who need the help, when you help according to the will of God, when you bless according to the will of God, it shall be well with you. Jesus bless you to bless each other. Jesus help you to help everyone. Jesus bless you to help bless everyone. The promotion you will receive that you will promote everyone around you. The office you acquire that you will bless everyone around you. You become a governor that you will bless everyone around you. You become a senator that you will bless everyone around you. God call you to be a pastor, to be a bishop and evangelist, to be a deacon or every father that you will bless everyone around you. You bless them and receive the reward from God. When you do that, it shall be well with you. God will continue blessing you and establishing you. But when you bless, when you do something, when you have satanic help, Maria help, and expecting something from that person. What they call Kulatala. In exchange of something, it's an evil help, not a good help. But God bless those who believe the word of God, who know what God can do. When you put it into a shot and start to bless those who need your hair, those who need that hair, search for them. You can see them many places. God will bless you and peace of God will be unto you. God bless you and I pray for God to bless you. Continue to give you a good heart to be a brother keeper and to help everyone around you. In Jesus' name.